Good evening, everybody. This evening, I am here in Cedar Lake, Indiana, and I am here at the Lighthouse. And I'm very excited because I've been waiting for this for a couple of months now to uh, dine at this restaurant. Everybody in the area has told me that this is a great restaurant, that they have great food, that it's a kind of an upscale seafood restaurant. Um, I would say that it's casual chic or maybe dressy casual. So I'm excited to go try some delicious seafood, some wine hopefully, and um, just check it out. It's right on the lake, so even though the weather is unfortunately really un pleasant today and it's gray and rainy. I still have a lovely view from my table of the lake and I'm excited to show you guys inside the restaurant and present you with some hopefully delicious food. So let's go inside and get lost at the lighthouse. And in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening comes Watching the ships roll in And then I'll watch them roll away again Yeah, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, I'm just sitting on the dock of the bay Wasting time I left my home in Georgia Headed for the Crystal Bay Cause I've had nothing to live for It look like nothing's gonna come my way So I'm just gonna sit on top of my bed Watching, watching, Here resting my bones And this loneliness won't leave me alone This two thousand miles I roam Just to make this dock my home Now I'm just gonna sit at the dock of a bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, sitting on the dock of a bay Wasting time my home in Georgia, headed for the Crystal Bay. Cause I've had nothing to live for, and look like nothing's gonna come my way. So I'm just gonna sit on top of my bed, watching, watching my way. So I've just sat down and I'm about to try a couple of different red wines that my waitress Marlene has brought over to me. So this one is, smells really good. This is from California, and this is a Zinfandel clinker brick from Lottie, California. That's a, that's a nice, nice flavor. We like that one. This next one is, Sangiovese, my kind of gal bringing me an Italian wine, and this is from Barone Ricasoli in Italy. Not bad. I think I prefer the California wine, actually, shockingly. So I'll probably go with that one at dinner. But now let's see about some cocktails, because apparently they're popular where they're well known for their wines and their cocktails. So my cocktail has just arrived, and this is a Lighthouse Punch, and this is what it looks like. Let's try this. Oh. 
Oh, that's yummy. So this is one of their specialty cocktails. And this is Flor de Cana rum, lime juice, lemon juice, strawberry puree, house-made ginger ale. Oh, and it's so delicious. So now we have our fried calamari, which is our appetizer. This smells really good. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Let's try the cocktail sauce. It's ketchup. It's got, looks like green onion maybe, or peppers, and it has jalapeno peppers, but it adds a little bit of kick, but not a lot. And as we all know, I can't handle spice, but this is really good. Lobster bisque. And this looks delicious as well. Oh, that's really good. It's very different. It tastes extremely creamy. Like it has heavy cream in it or something. Almost has a sweet cream. Okay, now we're going to try the tomato basil. Which looks like it has some cheese on top. Oh, oh, that is so good. It's very thick, very hearty, but packs a lot of flavor in there. That is absolutely phenomenal. I like the tomato basil better than the lobster bisque, and I'm a huge lobster bisque fan. The thing that I've been really looking forward to, I love crab dip. So let's, ooh, look at this crab dip. Looks like it's fried on top. That's the best thing. Mm, this breading that's crusted. That's fantastic. Everything tastes extremely fresh and well prepared. Like it just literally was made. So I'm very impressed so far. I'm actually quite impressed with the calamari. But this lighthouse punch, it packs a lot of punch. So our entrees have just arrived. And this is the first time that I will be having Yellow Lake Perch. I have never tried it before. And it comes with coleslaw, tartar sauce, ketchup, and french fries on the side. And I am excited to taste this. That tastes like fish and chips. That's really tasty. Very good. Oh, it does. It tastes like fish and chips. Oh, it's so good. It's a little, not chewier, but it has a different texture than cod, but it's similar. It's that white fish. It's delicious. Very well prepared. The breading is very, very nice. Next thing that we're going to try is this um, shrimp alfredo pasta, which is pretty self-explanatory. And this also looks amazing. Oh my god. That has almost a smoky, champagne-y kind of a flavor. So that has large shrimp, fresh garlic, cream, and aged parmesan tossed with fettuccine noodles. That is phenomenally delicious. Wow. That's one of the best Alfredo pastas I've ever had. That is just simply delicious. It's going to take a lot to beat that shrimp Alfredo, Alfredo pasta. That is so good. Okay, so this next thing we're going to try. I have never had walleye fish. And this is macadamia crusted walleye. Canadian walleye pike with a macadamia crust served with asparagus and lemon butter sauce. It's quite the presentation. The waitress did say this is her favorite favorite dish that they have on offer. Um, wow. Very light. Not salty at all. Um, it does have a also sort of a, a fish and chips flavor to it, sort of like the perch did, but this is much lighter. Um, a softer breading, so it's not as heavy with the oil and being fried. And um, their tartar sauce. One of my absolute all-time favorite fish, seafood dishes to order when I go to a seafood restaurant is Chilean sea bass. So this is their Chilean sea bass, apparently one of their absolute best uh, dishes that they have on the menu. It's a specialty of theirs. Pan seared and served with fresh vegetables sauteed with Asian vinaigrette. And on the side I ordered truffle, uh, what are they? Roasted truffle potatoes. So that's that's happening. Let's see if 
right, this measures up to some of the other ones I've had. So this is a completely different preparation of the sea bass. It smells good. Oh, yeah, that's spicy, but you can feel the butter and the sea bass just melts in your mouth. Wow. What an interesting and distinct taste. So that definitely has a lot of Asian um, flavor going on with that seasoning. It's delicious. Completely different than anything else that I've tasted so far. Let's try these potatoes. Mm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear my palate with this lovely, lovely Zinfandel red wine that my waitress brought me from California. Oh, lovely, lovely bouquet. We're going to try our filet mignon. And this is, I'm guessing, an 8-ounce filet mignon. And on the side, I ordered garlic mashed potatoes. So good. Really good. So this has a slight kick to it, like it has pepper on it, but wow, that steak is very well prepared. Let's try the garlic mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. It's time for perhaps the piece de resistance, but we don't know yet. This is the last entree that I'm going to try, and this is the Brush Creek Ranch Wagui Burger. Half pound Wagui Burger, homemade pickles, lettuce, tomato, onion, apple, wood, smoked bacon, and Tillamook aged cheddar, che uh, cheddar served on a toasted brioche bun and fries. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what Canada tastes like, but if Canada had a flavor, that would be it. That's just so out in the country, a rustic, smoky flavor to that. Wow, it tastes amazing. Everything has been delicious, but I'd say my top two picks are definitely the shrimp Alfredo pasta and surprisingly the burger. I mean, for a seafood restaurant, I thought for sure one of the seafood dishes would be my favorite. Everything is delicious, but these two have really taken taken me over. I mean, just delicious. All right, so our dessert has just arrived, and I went all out for you guys, just for you. So let's talk about what we ordered. We have ordered, oh, I didn't even see, peanut butter mousse pie. I didn't order that, but that sounds really good. We've got the banana cream pie. Mm. One of my favorite pies is coconut cream pie, so let's see how the banana cream pie is. Homemade banana custard and fresh bananas in a uh, graham cracker nut crust served with fresh whipped cream and caramel. Mm. I'm not going to lie, this is the one that I'm really most looking forward to because this just looks like such a grown-up dessert. And this is the bourbon milkshake. And this is Knob Creek bourbon, vanilla, vanilla bean ice cream, and a splash of cream. This looks delicious. Ooh, mama. Whoa. You taste that bourbon. But it's not very strong. It's iced down. It's very ice creamy. Very sweet. Um, but you can definitely taste that bourbon. This is this is delicious. So now we are going to try this Mile High, or what is it, the Lighthouse Mile High. And this is a chocolate cake, so it's, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's frosting. So it's a layer of chocolate cake and then frosting and then more chocolate cake and then more frosting. It may be frosting, it may be something else, I can't remember now. And then vanilla bean ice cream on the side. Vanilla bean ice cream. Mamma mia, look at this cake. That is delicious. So this is the, the second thing I'm really looking forward to, and this is the warm chocolate chip cookie sundae. And this is with vanilla bean ice cream, homemade hot fudge, and whipped cream with chopped roasted peanuts. Tastes like caramel. My top picks for the evening were definitely the shrimp Alfredo pasta. That was amazing. One of the best I've ever had. Um, I would say the burger was right up there. As far as the appetizers, the crab cake dip was my absolute favorite. Um, the calamari was very fresh. Uh, and I would say for desserts, 
I would actually go with that cookie uh, sundae. It was actually, it was the, took a minute for, for the taste to come into effect, but it was quite good. I would say as far as desserts, that was my favorite, but for sure, the grown-up milkshake, which was the bourbon milkshake, was my absolute favorite of all the things I tried. Um, and it was perfect for me because I can't drink caffeine. So they do have some caffeine-influenced uh, 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 alcoholic after-dinner beverages, but this was fantastic. So I would definitely recommend coming to the Lighthouse. The atmosphere is really nice. It's upscale, casual, chic. Um, expect to dress a little dressier when you come. Um, the prices are a little on the higher side, but that's to be expected for a seafood restaurant, especially of this caliber. And you're on a beautiful, beautiful lake, Cedar Lake, here in Indiana. And um, it's a, just a charming little town and a charming restaurant. It's a perfect place to bring a date and, and or uh, have drinks with friends and some good food and have some good times. So I definitely recommend coming. And when you do stop in here, make sure to let them know that Lisa sent you. And until next time, everybody, don't get lost without me. Sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, Sitting on the dock of the bay